What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Vikavolt on the casual ladder, showcasing it within this Dusclops Trick Room team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team also features another returning Pokemon that I think is going to be very strong once Regulation E comes out, and that Pokemon is Conklin. Conklador has great stats, it's a great fighting type Pokemon, great moveset, and really rocks out well in the competitive scene. So super excited to be using Conklador and Vickable in today's video. But our first Pokemon that we are going to talk about is in the one slot. It is going to be Ursa Luna regular form. It's got Guts and the Flame Warp with Facade, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before, but it's such a strong Pokemon within the Trick Room. We got Conkledor in our second slot with Iron Fist and the Assault Vest as an item to make it a nice bulky Pokemon on the special defensive side. It's got Drain Punch, it's got Poison Jab, Knock Off, and Mock Punch. Like I said, I think Conkledor is going to be very solid in the meta once regulation E comes out, so I'm super excited to be using this Pokemon. We got Storm Drain Gastron in our third slot with Leftovers as item and a great move set of Muddy Water, Sludge Bomb, Recover, and Protect. Then in our fourth slot, it's going to be Vickable. And Vickable is a powerhouse within the Trick Room. It looks like a rather fast Pokemon, but it's, it is actually slow and it thrives out in the Trick Room. It's got Levitate as its ability with Life for Bad's item, and then a great move set of Bug Buzz, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon to deal with those fairy types. And last but not least, we have Protect. In our fifth slot, we got the first of our two Trick Room setters, and this one's going to be Cresselia with Levitate and the Mental Herb as its item, Rock and Protect, Lunar Blessing, Dazzling Gleam and Trick Room. In our final slot is the second Trick Room setter, and that is going to be Dust Cops with Frisk and the Evo Light, and then Nightshade, Will O Wisp to burn physical attackers, Trick Room, and Pain Split. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Not the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, look to showcase Vicavolt and Conklador on the casual ladder. Loading into our first match, and if you guys have regulation E teams for me to showcase on the casual ladder right now, send them to me in the comment section down below or get them to me over on my Twitter page. Would love to get some more teams to feature on this YouTube channel and showcase the Pokemon to their fullest potential. But two Pokemon that I'm really looking for is Chandelure and Ambipom. Those would be two cool Pokemon to get teams for. I would absolutely love it if you guys have them. And like I said, if you have them, get them to me as soon as possible. But we're hopping into our first match, going up against a Fire Ogre Pond team with... Is that Furret? Is that how you pronounce that Pokemon's name? I know that's a Pokemon, but you just never see it on the ladder, so I kind of forget its name. But they have Ogre Pond with Tornadus, and then Urshifu, Golden Go, and Blood Moon Ursaluna. But I want to see Vickavolt's stats, because like I said, it is a powerhouse within the Trick Room. And look at that special attack. 216, that's absurd. 63 speed, it's a powerhouse. It's an absolute powerhouse, and it's kind of bulky as well. So I really do like that Pokemon, but who should I lead and how should I get after it? I could go Conklador with 212 HP, 211 attack. This thing hits hard. It's a bit too hard. So I'm thinking I'm just leading this Pokemon, right? Get a little Conklador action. I'm going to go Conklador here, and I'm also going to lead the Dust Cops with the Evo Light. Seems like the best play. Or I could go Crest. I mean, Crest is not too bad. Or I could go Protect with Ursaluna and then kind of go from there, right? But nah, I'd rather go with Dust Cops here, showcase a new Pokemon, bring Vickable, and then last but not least, we could either go Gastrodon, or we can go Ursaluna here. And I'm thinking of maybe just bring Cress. Now, you know what? We're going to go Gastrodon here. A little Sludge Bomb, we got Muddy Water as well. I think we can definitely get some value off onto it, considering Gastrodon's pretty bulky, and it's a nice little back-end Pokemon. So, we to bring that Pokemon, and they do have Water Urshifu, so we could do some work with that. We could definitely, Storm Drain could definitely help us out. But yeah, like I said, Vickavolt's very powerful. I used it in Sword and Shield, and it was awesome, especially within Trick Room, and it really thrived out. They're going to end up leading two normal type Pokemon, which is gorgeous. We have Conklador in here. And why does Conklador look so tiny in this game? He looks so much bigger in the other games, and it might just be because Blood Moon Ursula Moon is just so big. But Conklador looks tiny. He looks so tiny. So from here, I am going to rip a Drain Punch. I don't know who I should rip it into. This Furret's kind of scaring me, so I'm going to go after that. And then on top of that, I'm just going to drop a, uh, not a Pins, but a Trick Room. I'm going to go after the Furret. We're going to go from there. He's going to end up withdrawing the Blood Moon Ursa Luna, so everything works out perfectly. Good thing we're going after the Furret. And we'll see who they want to bring out here. It's going to be Golden Go. And Super Fang is going to come across here. So he's going to Super Fang half my HP. That's totally fine. Drain Punch should come out here. Pick up the KO. And then on top of that... We get off Trick Room and get back a ton of HP. Almost back to full. So that was a beautiful lead for us. 
we will take some rocking helmet damage but like i said conquador hits like an absolute truck it has iron fist a lot of different punching moves like we have terrain punch and mock punch which is really good they get the iron fist boost but this pokemon also learns i believe fire punch thunder punch and ice punch so beautiful pokemon beautiful pokemon and its stats are amazing so ursaluna comes back out here and i feel as from here we're just gonna go for a knockoff right here because it's going to probably terrestrialize the ursaluna and I am just going to, I'm just going to double down into, into you right here. And match was canceled? Okay, we take that. We don't showcase Vickable, but Conquador gets thriving in match number one. We're loading into our second match, and that first match was super quick. We popped the Drain Punch with Conquador, we popped Trick Room, and then our opponent was just like, nah, I'm not having it. I'm not looking to get after that. I'm quitting this battle. So they cancel battle and we take a quick win. But the funny thing is I hopped into another battle and our opponent quit just as fast in like one turn. And I was just like, okay, I'm not uploading that with the other one. So we're only having one of those videos in here or one of those battles. And that was the first one with the Conquador. So we're hopping into our second match for today's video. And we're going up against a Ninetales and Pheasantipity team. Pheasantipity, I only versus once and it was rather strong with Toxic Chain just being a problem. They also have the Matcha Pokemon, the Healing guy and then uh indeedy konomo and landris so i definitely want to pop trick room trick room is going to be my best friend and i like bickabolt here especially with its uh with its flash can flash can is going to help us deal with the fairy types they got two fairy types and i really like it all around so i'm going to go bickabolt here i also have bug buzz which is going to be great and on top of that i am going to go dusk because i'm thinking of just maybe just protecting here and then go invicable or protect Vicable and pop a trick room. Then we can bring Conquador in the back end. And last but not least, um, Ursaluna. Yeah, I think we need a bit more attack power. So I'm going to go Ursaluna here. <clears throat> so let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. And have a full battle. Because like I said, we got the opponent to quit in the first match. And then off recording that I'm not uploading. I basically did the same thing. I just popped the trick room and protected my Vicable and... They were just like, okay, I'm done here. <laughs> Quit. So I, I don't want to upload that. So they end up going into Nine Tails and and into healing Macha Pokemon. So Snow Warning's gonna pop. Gonna be rather annoying because they're gonna be able to pop a War Veil. And they got like clay. So yeah, they're definitely going for War Veil. So from here, what do I even do? Because if you're going for a War Veil, what is the Macha Pokemon going for? Maybe just healing, so I might just flash can here. Flash can trick room, because you're definitely going for a warbell. There's no, there's no need to protect, right? There's no need to protect. So I'm gonna go for the flash can in this slot. He's gonna go for a shadow ball. I know you are going to have ghost and grass, and I'm gonna be able to save that. And wow, shadow ball is actually chunking up damage. It's actually chunking up damage. So I get off a flash can, and I just crit. That just crit. I didn't crit. I just dumped on you through a warbell. Yo, thick of all. Chill! It is four times super effective, so it does make sense. It does make sense. Vic Volt's hitting hard. Plus, it's special attacks like, what is it, 2 something? 211, 213? It's super high. So now we get off Trick Room. And he's gonna end up throwing out Shiny Konamo, who looks awesome. He looks very dope. And from here, I'm thinking, do I Terrastalize here? Do I Terrastalize? Probably not, right? I think I should go for a Bug Buzz into the Macho Pokemon. And I'm going to throw a Will-O-Wisp over into the uh, Konomo-O. I'm going to land this Will-O-Wisp, which is big. So I burn it. And some of them are physical. I think most of them are physical attacking. But I think a few of them can be special attacking. I'm not too sure about Konomo. -O. But I, get, I land a burn. I go for a Bug Buzz. Doing half damage in the War Bell, which is massive. And I'm going to lose some HP because I am life orb. And there's a Citrus Spray. That we knew we had because of Frisk. The Vickabolt's hitting pretty hard right now. I like it. I kind of want to swap my Dusk Ops. But I don't know. I mean, he might just die here, right? You know, you're on 5 HP. We like that. The 5 HP comes out here. He's going to boost his defense. Do I have any special attackers in the back end? Not really. That is rather annoying. So the defense bolt comes out here. Um, I'm thinking of just double downing into the Macha Pokemon and trying to KO it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So Konomo is going to set up defense boost. Rather annoying, but we'll deal with it when the time comes, right? We'll, de we'll deal with it when the time comes because we do have a nice little burn on it. We are slowly chipping away. I do have Ursaluna in the back end side of the comp. So I do like that. I do like that, but the only problem is, again, two physical attackers. And we're going to end up seeing a terror type come out here. Probably from Konomo. No, but it's going to be the Macha. 
And you're gonna rock into a beautiful poison type. A beautiful poison type. So poison gonna come out here. I think he's gonna try to look to heal up here. And we'll see how this one plays out. Because Night Shade does the same amount of damage every time, which is big. So get off the Night Shade. Bug Buzz now flies, and that is able to survive. That. You get special defense drop. A nice little survival on there. We'll see what they want to go into here. They're going to go into a Shadow Ball to finish off my Dusk Ops. No, you don't have to pick a bolt with that. You go after a Vickable and you Iron Defense up again. Okay, I feel you. I understand. I understand. But he's going to get back some HP here. Um, I think from here, we might just Pain Split. Just take off some HP of Konomo. Correct? Makes the most sense. So I'll go Thunderbolt. I will go Pain Split. I'm going to get back some HP. I'm going to get back some HP. So he ends up withdrawing the Macho Pokemon. We're going into Thunderbolt here, so depending on who they go into, we could do some damage, and that's a perfect, that's a perfect swap right there, <laughs> right in the Landorus. Intimidate me, don't really matter, but still, wasting out another turn of tripping. But I do end up Pain Splitting, which means we kind of half HP, we meet in the middle, and I take out half of Konomoto's HP, which is pretty big. He's going to just drop an Iron Head, which we're able to soak, you're doing no damage with Iron Head. No damage. Absolutely none. So we should we should have one turn left to trick room, which is pretty big. Um, and from here, I think maybe I just go after Konomoto. Good flash cannon it. I know War Bell's here, but I think we just double down to Konomoto and we try to get rid of it. Because this is really the only threat I see on the field. Unless he swaps back into Macha for HP recovery, which is a possibility. But he doesn't do it. So Night Shade, even through War Bell, is going to do the same amount of damage. And I believe Flash Cannon should take you out. It does. Beautiful. We get a crit. I think it was taking him out regardless. So Vickable is thriving out here. Doing some big time damage. We love it. We're wasting out of War Bell turns. And we got rid of Konomoto, who is plus four. So Rock Side comes out here. Dustcops is going to be the one Pokemon to dodge. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. So the snow does stop. I think Trick Room does end. Okay. And they're forced to bring out their final Pokemon, which is going to be the Macha Pokemon. So I think from here, we just go into... Do we go into Conquador? I can't really pop Trick Room. I wish we had a better, a better Terror type than that. I really did. I really do wish we had a better Terror type. Hmm. Maybe we just go into Ursaloon here. I'm going to go into Ursaluna. This Macha is going to come out here. I, I should have went into Conquador knowing you were low HP. I should have went right into Conquador because I could have mock punched you. I could have just mock punched you. But I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here. I am going to try to pull off the Trick Room. And we'll go from there. The battle was canceled. Wow. Didn't even take a shot. Didn't even take a shot. Our opponents are quitting battles fast. But we get to showcase Vic Bolt there. And we're 2-0. Final match is on its way, and your boy is sitting at 2-0 with two people canceling the battle. We love it. We love it. I don't really know why our opponent canceled uh, the battle in the last one. It seemed like they might have had a shot or could have fought a little bit harder, but hey, we'll take that win all day. I feel as we were going to win it regardless, but we're going up against a Trevenant team who I love. I absolutely love Trevenant. Such a cool Pokemon, Grass Ghost type, and they also have the uh, Galarian Weezing. And Galarian Weezing is one of those Pokemon with a great ability called Neutralizing Gas. It takes off all abilities on the field. So in certain situations, this Pokemon is actually really powerful. So we have to watch out for that. But from here, I'm going to go into Vickabolt for the lead again. And I'm thinking of just going Dustcops. Dustcops won't have his ability Frisk. That's not a big deal as long as we have Evil Light and we can outbulk. I really do like that. So I'm going to go Vickabolt. I am going to go Dustcops. And I'm bringing Conkledor and Ursaluna. Same squad, same lead, same everything. Let's look to showcase these Pokemon a little bit better in match number three here to end off the video. Because I love Vickable. We got Conquador punching in match number one. Really only using one move. Vickable was actually thriving in match number two, which was good. But I didn't really get to showcase Conquador. So I want to use Conquador a little bit more here. I think if we can set up the Trick Room, we can get thriving with Vickable, eventually bring out Conquador, kind of get going from there, right? Makes sense. Makes sense. But yeah, Tumino, love these Pokemon so much. And I think Vickable and Conquador are going to be seen a decent bit in the, in the ladder when it comes out. But they're going to end up going into Trevenant here. And that's totally fine by me. Trevenant is totally fine by me. Because from here, I can actually just rip a Bug Buzz into Press. I'm not too worried about the Trevenant. What do you got? Ghost type moves. That's pretty much it. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to try to pop a Trick Room. I am going to try to pop a Trick Room. 
But I wonder what Crest can do. Crest might terrestrialize. This cops looks so good in this game. <laughs> looks so good. But yeah, I, I think just going into the bug buzz in the crest is probably the right call. Because if it doesn't terrestrialize, it's going to take some nice damage. You're going to end up going for a helping hand. So helping hand shadow ball, maybe? Helping hand shadow claw? Poltergeist. Okay, so I'm going to go for a poltergeist. And it's attacking by my evil light. Is that going to KO me? Does not. Cool. So that's some big time damage, but everything works out perfectly. Because so I get off this bug buzz. Rip it in the crest. Like, crest is bulky. That's a lot of damage. And then I get off the trick. That's huge. That is huge. It is massive. We love it. We love it. So from here, I'm just going to go switch into a Bug Buzz here. Actually, what does more damage? Bug Buzz or Thunderbolt? Exact same. So it depends what I want. Thunderbolt has a chance to paralyze. Bug Buzz doesn't. I really don't want to paralyze my opponent right here. So I'm going to go into Nightshade here and try to finish off Cress. And then we'll go into a Bug Buzz. So what I think is going to happen is we take out Cresselia, we do some nice damage to Trevenant, and then Trevenant on top of that takes out my Dust Cops, and then we can bring out Conqueror and get Thriving. Bug Buzz coming out here. It's hard, dude. Vickavolt's nice. Love me some Vickavolt, dude. So he ends up popping a nice little berry here. Lovely, getting back some HP, and another Poltergeist coming in after me? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Bang, see you later, Dust Cops. You did your job. I love it. Everything's working out perfectly. Like I said in the beginning, I wanted to protect the Vickabolt, but we've we seen a chance where we can attack, so I attack and pop Trick Room. And you're harvesting. You got, he's got his berry back. He's got his berry back. But like I was saying, we want to uh, get the Trick Room off, have Dust Cops drop out here, and then have Conquador and Vickabolt side by side here. And that's exactly what we have here, and I feel as I really like where we're sitting. I know he has the Citrus Berry. I know that's a thing right there. And he's harvesting back. But I feel as we can KO in one shot. But I'm going to go Bug Buzz this slot. And I think we can just KO by going for knockoff here, right? Do I want to terrestrialize anybody? No, we do have Levitate, which is gorgeous. Can't hit me with a ground move. Um, Rock Slide, you might have Rock Slide, which is looking a little scary. But I think we're thriving here. I'm just going to go for the knockoff in the slot. But I think Cockledor should be able to KO. He hits hard. You've seen its attack shot. It's like two something. Absolute monster. So knockoff comes out here. Yeah, gets rid of Trevenant. We say, Ayo, you and your Harvest Berry need to leave. You need to stop. <laughs> so we end up doing that. We KO him. Garchomp, what are you going to go for after this? Bug Buzz flies here. And oh my lord. Vickabolt with the crit just taking him out. Yo, these Pokemon kill it in Trick Room. Unstoppable in Trick Room. We are just cleaning this up. We are cleaning this up. Urshfu's going to be the final Pokemon here. And from here, I can just drop an SLB Thunderbolt. And I'm thinking of just Drain Punching, right? Makes the most sense. Battle was canceled, dude. We absolutely dominated in today's video. 3-0, three, no, three canceled battles. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another 3-0 record added to the channel. But this one was rather quick. Simple plays today. Set up Trick Room, have Vickable, and Conklador go crazy. Was not expecting them to be that hyper-offensive, but... It was. It was absolutely amazing rocking out with Conqueror with that high attack set and having Vickable with that high special attack. You guys seen it showcase in match number three. Once we set up Trick Room, it was just game set match from there. We made three opponents quit, and it feels really good considering two new Pokemon showcased them to their fullest potential and gave you guys another run to code. So, cool. Very happy with today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.